But now we're going to change tack. We're going to we're going to start talking about his brother because his slightly older brother no, is following. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know, I love these. You'd be really gutted, wouldn't you? Oh, I got my face in the paper in my <laughs> bridal dress next to a big onion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, if there was a misprint, it could have be on her you head. Can really, smell be... the photo. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Has I read best. That's not <laughs> what you next want next to your head. I read best. <laughs> Yeah, it's is it glow with chlorophyll? Get your bride today with chlorophyll. <laughs> oh no, that's chloroform. Anyway, so <laughs> close enough. But close enough. So See, this Bowie, is announcing. Bowie, it's, it's it's an easy. It's an easy mistake, mistake to make. Yeah. <laughs> easy mistake to make. Uh, this is, we're back in the Dayton Daily News. Uh, we've gone back a couple of years because I want to introduce you to a name here. Because here, Brent Pottinger vows spoken in Linden Avenue Church. And this is in a uh, double ring ceremony, Saturday at 7 30 p.m. Miss Martha Jean Brent and David Forbes Possin- Pottinger exchanged uh, wedding vows. So so this is the, the marriage of. Uh, David Forbes Pottinger and his wife. And we're about to learn about David Forbes Pottinger. Hence the uh, first article being called The Pottinger Identity. Because here you go. <laughs> this is beautiful. I mean, these covers are fantastic. This is a game. Look, I, I, I love going around to newspapers. This is Dayton Daily News, August the 2nd, 1962. Front page news in Dayton. Police launch all out search for city commissioner Pottinger. So he's followed in the footsteps of his father. Foul play beard. Car, <laughs> one shoe found. So they find his shoe, a bloody shirt, a couple of beer cans from the beer that he bought in the, the garage nearby. It's really interesting, actually, he goes into this garage. He goes So, so David Forbes Pottinger, he goes to a city commissioner's meeting, this guy, and he uh, he's, he sits in on this meeting. And after the meeting, it finishes about half ten. At 11 o'clock, he drives to a store, buys four beers. I think it's a pack of four. Uh, goes outside and uh, he has a couple of beers. Now, the, the, the evidence given is that he goes in to buy beer at 11 p.m. And he leaves the shop about midnight. So, obviously, you're, you're saying... Where was he shopping for an hour? Like you know, obviously things a don't add up straight away. Beers. Yeah, a large. <laughs> uh, there uh, was so many beers. They had to choose one from each of the four celebs that we'll all offer, and I just didn't know which one to choose. <laughs> See, because yeah. hmm, anyway, they, all craft. They, all craft. <laughs> they don't have craft back then. No, they all. It's all craft back then. Maybe I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, they so he just he, have like one beer. <laughs> they they find his they find his uh, bloody shirt and his shoe and his car abandoned in the night time by the the night time uh here look at his poor wife there she is mm. we saw her in a bride uh, yeah. mrs martha pottinger waits for news she now kept calm through herself. the night yeah now she's slicing onions and chloroforming boys i mean i mean chlorophyll what ah anyway so um we're working on the assumption violence was committed said detective sergeant james h picard so obviously they've got john luke picard on the case already now they they, they got they got these guys who were expecting in that there's been some form of violence and and here's john stanley pottinger look they're looking he's putting his hand fingerprints on his brother's white t-shirt that's going to be uh, sniffed by uh, um, a pack of hounds and they're going to go on a hunt for his dead body investigators turned up a white t-shirt lying on the street near where pottinger's car was found sergeant picard said the shirt was the same size and brand as pottinger wore pottinger's brother however said he did not believe the shirt belonged to Pottinger. <laughs> he's got a smile on his face, the guy yeah. as well. He's like, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's saying to him, feel that fabric, feel the quality of that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's proper cotton. <laughs> <laughs> proper, proper cotton. Proper feel cotton. Like, uh, well, 
Uh, yeah, and there'll be proper cotton jokes to be made when I tell you who he ran off with. Anyway, Pottinger's brother, Stanley, said the young commissioner may have been carrying $2,100 but, uh, dollars, uh, to close a deal on uh, a house, yeah? So this is money to close a deal on a house. That changes later. That changes. A lot of this story changes later. And it's very interesting, isn't it? He goes missing and everybody's excited. It makes all of the the, the papers, um, you know, every, every paper has it. Dayton man going missing and it mentions Stanley Potting. Stanley Potting, a brother, a uh, missing commissioner, says it's 2,300 here rather than 2,100. Uh, Potting, who was elected city commissioner last November, left the commission meeting at 11 p.m. Wednesday, left it, went across, got beer, left the, 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 the place at 12 and disappeared. And uh, it is more commissioner's wife waiting. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, Khrushchev there. And someone who looks like Khrushchev, I think. Just about to say, <laughs> I mean, spot spot the difference there. In fact, they yeah, did it mate. twice. <laughs> Why yeah. Waiting. waiting. Why is she waiting? Oh, no, 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 the same one. They're the same. They're, yeah, that is Nikita. I was like, no, that can't be. That can't be two different people. No, it's Nikita Khrushchev, isn't it? It's so kind of weirder because it's just like one's a bit more of a close up. And he's, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of weird, weirding me out. So right? it says, um, it, 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 his wife talks about, so David Potting, his wife says, I can't think of a time where Dave didn't come home straight from the commission meeting, she told reporters. Uh, and this is Eleanor, uh, Eleanor Chittenden is his mother who waited she waited until 3 a.m she said before calling potting his mother uh oh no that, that's what the 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 uh the girlfriend did mrs allen or the wife mrs allen and chittinger uh chittenden and stanley potting a 22 brother of the commissioner came immediately to david Pottinger's home uh at 5 a.m stanley called the police so they instantly call the police and there's a hunt out for Pottinger. it makes all of the the local newspapers and then guess what happens a couple mm -hmm. of uh couple of days later we're in the journal herald of dayton ohio uh a couple of days later and potting a babysitter missing since yesterday leaves note message from girl says she'll write <laughs> i like that i'll write you i'll write you mother once, like once, she right. yeah <laughs> um she not right. connect not not connected to disappearance of commissioner family says <laughs> so obviously straight away people are saying wait a minute this girl goes missing they left no stun and uh, stone and turned they're talking about david pottinger's look at the search for david pottinger east um east end search for traces of missing city commissioner david pottinger uh yes they included wells the riverbank wooded areas meadowlands uh and pits like the one municipal judge cecil edwards and his boy scouts are searching here in fact 300 boy scouts were set out to comb the area uh there you go so, so scouts comb area of east dayton um 300 boy scouts in futile day-long search they can't find him where is he where is he well he's obviously he's not with cheryl vanderville is he because she's his babysitter and that would be the fact inappropriate. Like, no no stone left unturned <laughs> we're gonna get the absolute best on the job oh, yeah we're please getting... call the scouts <laughs> yeah <laughs> call the scouts and and and, and we well, actually there's Smaller one stone hands. over there the, that stone over there has got this babysitter marked on it no we won't turn that stone over let's not look over there no <laughs> the, the scouts can't handle babysitters they're just too sexy right anyway okay so two along uh two days on from that relatives waiting hoping praying but no word and there you go. There's more. The Daily News staff writer uh, are writing about uh, the, something very interesting. Watching, waiting, praying. That is how the mother, Sherry Vanderville, the missing 17-year-old babysitter for David Pottinger's family, described her vigil today. And for the wife, mother and brother, the young city commissioner who vanished last Thursday, the story was much the same. We've heard nothing, said Sylvan Vanderville, Sherry's mother said. Um, it, it, it's just a vigil. We're waiting, that's all. Stanley Pottinger, the Pickle. commissioner's brother, uh, scotched rumours that the family had heard from Dave. I wish it were true, he said. We've heard no word or idea of what's happened to him, but we're still optimistic. It's difficult to feel that way under the circumstances, but we'll ho we're trying to keep our hopes up and et cetera, et cetera. So there's uh, some questions 
that um, uh, Vanderweil and this girl uh, um, and uh, Pottinger, David Pottinger, go missing at the same time. And there's there doesn't seem to be anything now. The two, the two uh, in every article, the two cases are basically combined together in the same article. So it mentions Sherry in this and David in this, um, and and it, it's again nothing was found when when they they went and looked in different places. You know, ah, uh, potting a uh, Cheryl met often. Grundish claims. So we're five days after the missing uh, a, a school girl goes missing or four, three days after the school girl goes missing. And um, they're reporting that Pottinger met his babysitter often. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Stanley, brother of the missing commissioner, promptly branded the statement a lie. And added, we won't dignify these lies by talking about them. And what are the lies? Well, the lies are his fr her friends, Cheryl Vanderville's friends and p other witnesses said that he had been having a relationship with this schoolgirl for, 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 for about a year, I think it was. Um, and he had been meeting her at the uh, Silver and Crystal Lakes areas in northeast of the city. That later comes up. Um, but Stanley Partiger, when these girls say, yeah, she was meeting, she she had been meeting him for ages and stuff, calls all of the, the people saying it, it, that is, she's run off with his brother. He calls them all liars, which is, of course, ironic, seeing as eventually that's kind of like he'd be on the side of the victims in a very similar case. Because here, David Forbes Partinger has actually done something very naughty, you know. He's trafficked a girl across state lines for sex, uh, an underage girl, quite similar to what Jeffrey Epstein did himself, which the irony must be, uh, of course, noted. And uh, the two parting of relatives interviewed by police. So by the time it got round uh, as well to the 8th of August, they were already, uh, we've gone back a little bit, but they were already questioning um, Stanley Pottinger and the father, uh, his stepfather, um, about David Pottinger's disappearance, but none of it's um, uh, mentioned. And then here you go, 17th of September. So over a month and a half later, Tells of a beating. The Akron Beacon Journal reports missing Dayton official found in a Tennessee ditch. And David F. Pottinger, missing Dayton official, city commissioner, was found in a muddy ditch here today. He told a tale of being beaten by three men in an investigation of gambling and prostitution he had been conducting. So here he is. David Pottinger makes up a story. He says that... And, and this is amazing. He's such a he's such a douchebag. He really is, really one of the stupidest people around. Because he makes up a story that he has amnesia, but he can remember all of the important things that he wants you to know. So now, <laughs> there's not many times where that happens. Um, amnesia. Yeah, people don't see through it. Pottinger found. Dayton, uh, sorry, David F. Pottinger, Dayton, Ohio, city uh, commissioner, member missing since um, July 31st, convalesces in Knoxville, Tennessee, after being found lying in a ditch. Just found lying in a ditch. Police say he has an apparent, uh, he is an apparent amnesia victim. An amnesia victim, like amnesia. Yeah, amnesia goes around amnesia striking. Amnesia just crept up on me and me. <laughs> it's amazing. So this, yeah, so they, again, there's other places. Uh, David Pottinger is surprised to learn his babysitter had left home. <laughs> My God, see, what? <laughs> you, they're bringing him out of the ditch and they're like, you heard about Sherry Vanderville? And she, he's like, oh, what? What's happened to her? Yeah, help me up further. I've got a bump on my head. They find him with a bump on his head and he claims he had been dragged from his car. He says, Pottinger said that the last thing he remembers was being beaten by three men who he said dragged him from his car in a warehouse district near his home in Dayton. And then he wakes up in a ditch in Tennessee a month and a half later. Ah! <laughs> I mean, it's insane to, 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 to like, a, put that forward. Concussion. Yeah. And yes, teleportation. <laughs> I mean, amazing. P 
Partinger uh, said a gambling scandal in Dayton prompted him to begin the private official investigation into alleged rackets, just like he's suddenly a policeman now. I'm a city commissioner. I took it upon myself to unveil. He went to the FBI and was told he needed evidence. Now, this is a reoccurring theme. This will c- c- come up in the third one. People who say they went to the FBI, but uh, not sure they did. The FBI record keeping is so bad that they, they, they use the excuse that there's no records to prove that there was a record. It's very bizarre. Um, and so, again, they, this is a story that's going around all over the place. I won't read through it, but there you go. There's his, his uh, cuck, I mean wife, um, Look, and there's a babysitter. It leaves you breathless. <laughs> yeah, it leaves you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it leaves you. It leaves you breathless. And then speechless. And then Anyway, uh, Pottinger returns to Dayton. So, by uh, the, he, he's then picked up in a hired van by the family. Now, I'm going to really skip through uh, this. Pottinger missing uh, police to question Dayton Commissioner soon. So, he'd be missing for 45 days, found in a ditch, of course, and people asking loads of questions. And uh, he takes some neurological tests as well. Doctors check for nervous disorder. A lot of the doctors say there's little objective evidence, the doctor um, continued, that he has uh, had amnesia. Uh, but this would be true in many such cases. Uh, that amnesia. Like. Yeah, well, that amnesia like. p- makes victims of us all. Um, oh, so it's sorry. It's kidnapping. Assume. You don't remember it. Yeah. <laughs> that is something I'm going to use as a chat apply. <laughs> anyway, okay. The Daily Advocate says former Dayton official undergoes exams. Again, they're, they're examining him. So this is all evidence just to show that the police, the, the, the press are reporting this at the time. And uh, uh, police get approval to talk to Pottinger in hospital. So obviously they're like very interested in speaking with the guy. <laughs> Hang on a second. Um, Go up. The one, the one next to it. What, what a headline. Ice cream melts, so he speeds. That one. <laughs> Ice cream melts, so he speeds. <laughs> I know. I know, man. This is why I mean, it, 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 newspaper new, diving through newspaper archives is a wonderful thing. It's a recipe thing. for disaster. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a recipe. <laughs> you drive the faster you drive, the quicker it melts. What are you meant to do? You drive slowly, it melts faster too. Anyway, Cheryl admits. <laughs> Staying with yeah, official, a, like the movie Speed, but with ice cream. I I like it, uh, except Keanu Reeves is covered in ice cream and has a bomb up his butt. So I'm not sure about that. Here we are in the Kansas City Star, and it's the first of October, 1962, and we're nearly at the end of uh, David Pottinger's story um, and about to get back to Stanley Pottinger. And here we go. It is unveiled over the next few uh, days from the 1st of October. Cheryl gets home. Cheryl Vanderville, they try and track her down. She turns out to be in New York. They send her to go stay, stay with some family in Washington for a bit. Then she comes back to Dayton. Uh, and then she gets put into hiding for a little bit because she's a bit scared. Because, of course, uh, she's about to tell the truth. And she's about to admit that she went off with uh, David F. Pottinger, that he faked his own disappearance and they went sailing around the place in a boat that he bought with the money he had loaned some extra money on top of the money that he had taken the the 2100 or 300 dollars he had taken he'd also uh loaned 3500 beforehand bought a boat and sailed around the place and sold the boat afterwards so that's what they had been doing he had been basically trafficking her across multiple state lines for sex and so he's arrested and this is the Akron Beacon Journal uh, stating that uh, he, uh, Pottinger, will escape the Man Act, which is a white slavery act, so trafficking act, um, that was used back then to prosecute people for trafficking girls for sex across state lines. Um, but straight away, as soon as they start investigating, they're like, oh, no, we won't charge him like they say look up here there is of course a technical violation of the man act if the girl's statement is true that she was with potting her for 40 some days in his absence and if that were together in, and that they were together in various states of various times you know oh there's a technical of course there's a technical violation what you mean he broke the law yeah it's a technical violation though isn't it you know every breaking of every law is a technical technical violation that is what 
breaking the law is. Yeah. Breaking the law is. Yeah. <laughs> what does what that so so they're obviously are, are already like oh we don't want him to spend a year inside um and this looks bad so future looks bleak for ex Dayton aid is the next one three days later with Pottinger admits attack amnesia stories are false and he does it. He admits it out loud. He has to by this point. Wow. That's not him next to him. I wouldn't be surprised. You could just say, <laughs> <laughs> What was I doing to you? I do not know. Who am I? I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I knew all along. What am I saying? Um, the, so the, his career is being reported as over, and it is true, and it's over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you, I, I am going to give you guys a couple of hints of where his career goes after this. He gets charged. He gets like, a slap on the wrist a plea entered for parting her um uh, so uh free uh, uh, so pleaded innocent to a free count charge of acting in a manner tending to cause a delinquency involving the potting a babysitter who disappeared with him um eventually uh plea entered for uh, he claims innocent and then eventually he says he's guilty as well they say he's okay for trial ba 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 Pottinger goes um, to uh, six weeks in uh, court and then he enters no contest to the plea. So he reverses his plea and says no. Uh, and they've obviously worked out something. So I think his brother would have been in the background here as well because even though he's just uh, he, he's by this point he's first year law so he's been at harvard for four years um i'm pretty positive that stanley pottinger would be involved uh in this part um but that was that that's basically coming to the end there of the pottinger so they failed to indict him um uh, return any indictment against the date and exit permission on charges that he uh, f used a false name to obtain an automobile title. So there's little tiny other technical violations <laughs> that that he, they were trying. Uh, and then David Pottingham family moved to Florida. So then he moved to Florida and he starts. Um, <laughs> he starts. Then he grew hair. No, he, I, I wish he I probably did actually. He probably had nice long hair by this point, but I wish that he had um he had he had not become a a, a, a sailing instructor. Um, I wish he hadn't because by by nineteen sixty three, it's so he's only he's only just left. His family's only just left. Dayton Daily News uh, reporting that Pottinger skipped Maya Schooner because he's uh, taking some people around in their yacht and he ends up, uh, the boat owners, Mr. and Mrs. Russell Boaz, blamed the incident on misplaced boys. But I bet you that's what, uh, <laughs> that's what, <laughs> it's a misplaced boy, Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Anyway, so yeah, so, um, and that's the end of David Pottinger. Uh,